So today I'm going to be sharing how to make some cha cha chai which are basically Vietnamese vegetarian spring rolls. So these are fried and I do like to have them with some fresh rice noodles on the side and some pickled veg along with some fresh herbs like mint and cilantro and some cucumber. So basically how I like to enjoy this is I basically wrap it up in lettuce. So I get the big piece of lettuce, add some of the noodles, the fresh herbs, the pickled veg and I wrap it up. And for the dipping sauce, I did make like a vegan fish sauce inspired dipping sauce and I dip it and basically that's like a really good bite. And this is another version, it's a bun cha jo, which is basically um, like a rice noodle and spring roll bowl. And I basically cut up the pieces into smaller ones. So we're gonna start off first, first with the fillings. We have some carrot here that I shredded. We have some um, wood ear fungus or like black mushrooms and some shiitake mushrooms or other fresh mushrooms and just dice them up and some onion which I also diced and I also have here some extra firm tofu that I just mashed up with a fork and lastly we have here some rehydrated vermicelli noodles so these are mung bean vermicelli noodles and I just left them in water to sit before they got really chewy and I chopped them up so we're gonna basically um, cook down the filling I heated here a large pan with some oil and I basically just sauteed the onion and added in the mushrooms and I'm just gonna cook it down for a few minutes until it's tender and then we're gonna go and add in the carrot and just cook it down as well. So we're gonna leave this for a few minutes until it's cooked down and the carrot is tender. Afterwards mix in the noodles and just cook that down. So the noodles are in like smaller pieces which are easier to work with. And then I added in the ma mashed tofu here and I just basically just mashed a bit of the bigger pieces. And you're going to cook down the tofu and season it with some salt, soy sauce, sugar, and some pepper. And you're going to cook it down for the tofu to kind of like evaporate a bit, like the water is going to evaporate. And the tofu is going to turn into like this minced meat type of texture. And then we're just going to cook, cook it down for a bit more and you can also just taste and season to adjust to your liking. And then afterwards, we're basically just going to go and add some cornstarch. So the cornstarch here is going to help thicken the mixture and help it like hold up better when we're adding it to the filling of the spring rolls later on. So we'll just mix that up and it's going to absorb some of the moisture from the tofu and start to thicken. So the filling is going to get thick and basically we're just going to leave this to cool before using it for the spring rolls later on. So I actually made mine in advance and just stored them in the fridge. Meanwhile, we're going to go and prepare the spring roll wrappers. So these are flour spring roll wrappers and make sure that they're thawed at room temperature so it's easier to work with and it's also really pliable and won't break easily. And for the setup, we have here a small bowl of water and we're just going to use it to seal the edges. And we're going to basically just add a generous amount of the filling and press it down just so um, it's compact and there's not much air bubbles. And just dip your hands in the water as needed just to use it to seal the edges. And we're going to fold basically the both ends to the center. And we're going to dab some water again and just fold it towards the top edge. Um, when you get to the top edge, put another small dab of water and use it to seal. And there's your spring roll. So basically, we're just going to go and repeat this for the rest until you have all your spring rolls and all the filling used up. And then basically we're going to go and prepare a large pan or a wok to fry these. So I added in some neutral oil, just enough to submerge at least half of the spring rolls. And we're going to cook it over medium-high heat until it's golden brown and crisp. And just flip it over. And you can just like go ahead and leave this to go turn golden brown again. And if you want to bake these, I do have steps over on my blog that you can check out. Um, basically, just remove from the oil and drain it from any excess oil. And don't cover the spring roll so they don't sog from the heat. And yep, so these are the finished spring rolls. And basically, we're gonna go and prepare some rice vermicelli or rice noodles. And I just prepared like a small pot and cooked down the noodles here. So these noodles turn um, from translucent to a solid white. Um, when they start to cook down so it's gonna take a few minutes maybe around 8 to 10 depending on the thickness of your noodles and you're just gonna cook it down until it's chewy and cooked to your liking and afterwards we're gonna basically just go ahead and transfer this to a strainer to drain out the water and we're gonna run it through cold water just to stop it from cooking and also to like um, cool it immediately so we can mix it up with the um, spring rolls later on so here are the cooked noodles 
And to assemble the bowl, I'm going to show you two ways you can do it. So first up is with some shredded lettuce or noodles. And of course, a delicious side of some crispy cucumber, some fresh herbs, there's like mint and cilantro, and of course the chopped up spring rolls and some pickled vegetable, plus the dipping sauce, the Vietnamese like dipping sauce, which is actually like a vegan fish sauce. And for the other option, it's of course the one with the lettuce and more pickled veg and noodles. And this is the option that you can like wrap up and just enjoy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. And you can check out everything up on my blog, including the pickled vegetable recipe. And yep, I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you so much for watching.